security as a part of the software development process is an ongoing process involving people and practices and ensures application confidentiality, integrity and availability. Secure software is a result of security aware software development processes where security is built in and the software is developed with security in mind. Hello everyone, this is Shankar and welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about how we can uh, secure our endpoints uh, using OAuth 2. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And when you subscribe, please click on the bell icon so that you never miss a video on my channel. So let's imagine we are uh, a company. Let's imagine we are a bank and we provide, we have uh, various clients. We have many clients and uh, we provide various products to our clients. So by products, I mean uh, we provide various services to our clients. So let's imagine we are HSBC or we are Citibank and we have uh, clients like Amazon or Flipkart or other such e-commerce uh, websites and uh, they are clients and they need uh, products from us they need, they need particular products from us so let's say we have a product uh, which is for faster checkout or like instant checkout is one of our products so what it does is it, it basically stores uh, the user details or uh, stuff like uh, card card details and stuff and uh, it, it enables the user to check out easier faster than normal uh, the normal checkout process so let's say Amazon opts for this particular service and comes to HSBC and says that uh, I want this service from you I want this product from you and uh, you want to provide as HSBC you want to provide this uh, service or this product to Amazon and Amazon in turn might be having uh, uh, various uh, users so let's say Adidas is one of Amazon's users or Reebok is one of Amazon's users they have accounts with Amazon and they are the ones who are going to use who are going to enable their uh, end uh, users to use these particular products such as fast uh, instant checkout and stuff so you would not want all the uh, all your clients to uh, be able to access all your endpoints or all your products or all your resources whatever client or whoever comes to you and says that I want this particular product from you you would want that particular uh, client or that particular entity to use your resource and so uh, spring security is very important in this regard and for this demo i have already created a project and named it spring security demo and i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna share this uh, project with you guys uh, and i'm gonna upload this on github and i'll put the description i'll put the link in the description for the github repository below so let's first take a look at the dependencies for this project so we have spring boot starter security we have spring boot starter web and we have test and we have dev tools and we have uh, spring cloud starter OAuth 2 so basically what OAuth 2 does is it enables your resources or your endpoints to be secure and uh, when a particular client uh, tries to access a, or when a particular user of a particular client tries to access a particular resource uh, it has to present its, itself as an authentic uh, client and an authentic user a user who has access to that particular resource so first what we need to do is we need to uh, we need to fetch a token a token uh, to access the resource so first we'll be fetching the token and then once we get the token we'll be trying to access that particular resource with that by providing that particular token so let's walk through the example or the project demo project 
so this is gonna be the entry point for our application and we have uh, this spring boot application annotation here and then we have enable authorization server so this is going to enable uh, the authorization server this is going to authorize a particular uh, client and a particular user and provide uh, tokens and stuff like that and then we have this enable resource server so this is going to enable uh, a resource server and uh, make our resources available according to the uh, configurations that we make in our resource server so let's take a look at this class which says authorization server configuration so this is basically going to provide uh, the authorization server configuration details and we are saying that a client ID is client1 so for this client we have this client secret now this string is an encrypted string so in this example i'm going to store uh, these details in memory so i'm not going to use a database but in an ideal uh, or in uh, a real, real time scenario we'll be ideally storing these details inside uh, of a database and this is the encrypted uh, password for this particular client so this this uh, encryption is uh, basically bcrypt encryption that I've used. So bcrypt is uh, an encryption algorithm, and that is exactly what I've used here to fetch this uh, particular string. And the plain text for this uh, string in, in encrypted or encoded string is secret one two three. So when we are storing our uh, uh, password in the database we ideally won't be storing it in uh, plain text we'll be storing it in the encrypted form and then we have this uh, authentication manager uh, authentication manager that is wired here so spring is gonna provide uh, spring is gonna provide uh, a bean for the, this particular uh, this particular class authentication manager or this particular interface authentication manager and then we have an in-memory token store so this is going to provide our tokens or this is going to generate our tokens and this is going to store the tokens in memory so it's going to be stored inside the application or uh, yeah inside the application memory and here we are configuring the endpoint so we are saying that the endpoints should be configured should be uh, should should be secured using this authentication manager and then we have uh, the token store we, we have set the token store here and then we are providing the uh, security details for our authentication uh, endpoints so we are saying token key access has Permission. I mean, uh, would permit all all users, and then check token access is authenticated. So all tokens should be authenticated, and then we are providing the client details here. So this is basically something like uh, if we if if we are bank, if we are HSBC, and if our client is Amazon. So this is basically the details of Amazon that we are storing, and here I have used an in memory. Uh, thing to store the client details but in a real time scenario we would be ideally storing it inside of a database and here we are providing a client ID so the client ID is essentially client1 and then we are providing the client secret so this is the uh, the encrypted password for this particular client and then we are providing the scopes so here we have read and write scopes and then we are providing the authorized cron types so we say password and refresh token so these are the two kinds of uh, these are the two kinds of cron types that we have for this particular client and then we have authority set for this client so we have role client role trust client and user for this particular client 
and access token validity is for 20,000 milliseconds and refresh token validity is for 20,000 milliseconds so whatever tokens are generated are going to be valid for uh, 20,000 milliseconds all right next up we have we have the web security configuration uh, so this is basically extending this web security configure adapter and this basically provides the user details so say Amazon has uh, uh, other merchants who are users so basically say we have uh, users such as Adidas or uh, Reebok or you know, Nike as users of Amazon's uh, e-commerce portal so these are basically the user details that we have here so they are going to provide uh, the end users to make purchases on Amazon and they're gonna make uh, they, they, they're gonna provide they're, they're, they're gonna provide their services to the end users uh, on the Amazon website and uh, they need certain products from the bank so they need certain products from HSBC for their uh, for their end users so that may be a fast checkout or uh, an instant checkout or stuff like that so that is provided by the bank and that is provided by the bank to the client that is not directly provided to the user so that is provided by HSBC to uh, Amazon and Amazon in turn provides that particular uh, particular service to uh, to, to, to a user so that is provided to Reebok or that is provided to Adidas or that is provided to Nike and stuff and in at the end the end user who makes a purchase on Amazon is going to use that particular uh, particular feature or particular service or particular product such as faster checkout or instant checkout and stuff and here we have provided the authentication manager bean so this is what we are This is what we are fetching here. This is what we have auto wired here. So this is basically returning the uh, the authentication manager uh, implementation or the authentication manager uh, constructor, it's calling the super constructor. And so this is basically the uh, the endpoint that we are trying to. Uh, protect that we are trying to secure and this is basically a very simple uh, endpoint that I've created and it just returns a random number and I just call it the, I, I just call this stops controller this class so let's take a look what we have inside main resources So here I've just set the port to 8282. So this is going to run on 8282. And that is it. So let's try to run this project. Run this application. When I say run as Spring Boot app. Alright, our application is up. Let's try to test this. So I'm going to go to Postman. And right now we have no authorization or uh, we have no uh, authorization provided and let's try to hit this okay we get this message unauthorized and full authentication is required to access this resource so for this we would need a token so how do we generate the token so let's say http localhost and paste docs let's say go auth slash token and this should be a post method and in authorization I'm gonna say basic auth and here we have the client details so the client uh, username is client1 and the client password is secret123 so that is what we had uh, set here the client details 
so here what we see is the encrypted uh, encrypted uh, uh, encrypted string for secret one two three so that is exactly what I've provided here and for the params I'm gonna say ground type run type is password and I'm gonna say username so this is essentially gonna be the name of the user for that particular client so these are the users these are the two users that we have here so I'm gonna use the first one I'm gonna say user username is user and user password is secret so this is uh, the encrypted uh, string for secret so I'm gonna say password is secret and let's click on send all right so we have uh, the access token here and I'm gonna grab this well, choose this to uh, access the resource that we have here so I'm gonna select what to for authorization and uh, I'm gonna paste the access token all right and I'm gonna say send okay now we have the stock price here so that is basically how uh, what to uh, works and that is basically how we can secure our endpoints using OAuth2 uh, framework and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching